It's easy to do. I'm, I'm with you on that. I don't think people have a lot of practice at that. I mean, where, where else do you go to learn those kind of things? I mean, basically, uh, it takes a lot of practice to sort of, and someone to maybe to bounce some ideas off of, and well, maybe therapy. That's why that's therapy why, is working, I guess, for a lot of people. See, you know, I like what you're doing there because I, I, I need money. Um, but well, therapy is one because part of what happens in, in, in therapy, and there are different kinds of therapies, um, uh, therapies that are maybe a bit more process focused not only can you get someone to be open and own the things they're feeling you know, there are moments when you may hate your therapist or what often happens in therapy is is the thing that has to be owned is to be aware of just what sort of tensions arise in any social interaction and the more the more common one is to feel less than it's, I think you're less likely to hate your therapist than to feel, ah, oh, man, I wish I was as smart as they were. Or, man, I had a patient the other day say to me, you know, um, I bet everybody in your family is just, you know, healthy and balanced and everything. You know, you did that. I bet that's the this case. This is idealized for yeah, you. Yeah, right. Could be, it's you know. Right. Yeah, right. And. You know, I, I could have, uh, well, first off, I could have shown the MMPI for most folks in my family and said, well, actually, right. I have some data set to disprove that. <laughs> but what was important in that moment is to be able to say what they needed to say, but then to explore, well, what was going on with you when, that, when you said that? And then they were able to say, well, you seem to have an answer for the things that bother me. And if I can't answer them, it must be there's something wrong with me. Right. You know, and I don't know. So right. That must be there's something wrong with me. Okay. And so that right. begins a discussion of well, let's let's think about that. You know what, what, and 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 that narrative was far older than that moment. That they are often disempowered in moments of social interaction, in such a way that there are emotional needs and attachment connections that get thwarted, and they and they. Uh, this individual, particularly, would react through um, intermittent illegal drug use. Okay. You know, they would okay. they would find ways to. They often feel a sense of. We can talk about that euthymic window of emotional dysregulation that's fairly constant because they often find themselves in this position. Everybody else around me has it together, and I don't. Right. And they don't even really know why they're you know buying Xanaxes from folks and downing them all the time, but they do. And if we get them to be more aware of, and that requires them to be, to suffer a little, that they are suffering, to maybe have some understanding what that suffering is and what it might mean, then they can answer it differently. Right. Well, I was thinking too that, uh, the, especially when you mentioned social uh, situations and interactions, that sometimes this is like a, a, there's a behavioral side to it as well because you practice something, that's what you do in those situations, and the new situation is going to bring up those same kinds of feelings as well. So you've, you've really learned this over a period of time and reinforced it in mm. some ways. And, it, and it, it's reinforced, we have to say in the, in, in the mind of the biz, it causes the cause. So often folks who are so afraid of being rejected will do the very behaviors that generates rejection. And so they're caught in this circle. Right, and that's where this of notion of, sur of, of, of suffering you know, in fact, if we get back with hate, um, if if you have a, a, a racial minority that you suddenly feel is somehow degenerate and destroying everything that you love, um, you can scan the environment and find examples of someone who is worthy of your hate. Because there is literally no group of people on the planet that don't have a, a percentage of people in them that suck. Right. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And so it's yes. it literally. In fact, <laughs> it would be a racist. It would be a. Uh, it would be an. Uh, it would. It would be a racist statement to say that all. Uh, let's Samoans. Let's say Samoans. Right. Right. That all Samoans suck, but it would also be racist to say all Samoans are saint, because both of those are are right. are literally uh, um, pigeonholing and 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 in that projective sort of split place we don't want to be. Right. But so it often causes the cause. You can get stuck in these negative hate loops, and they self-fulfill themselves. And they're like it's like um, it, it it's like some sort of um, r r hate riptide. Right. And um, ultimately, the person that really drowns is the individual caught in it. They are stuck. They cannot grow. They are right. the suffering they feel never finds an outlet or comes to the surface in such a way that they can do something with it. They're trapped by it.